The decorative bronze pedestal was made by Mestrovich in 1907 in Vienna. On his drawing, Study for the Source of Life, which is kept in the permanent display of the gallery, it is obvious that the pedestal was intended to be part of the architectural frame of the fountain, the Source of Life, that used to stand in the anteroom of Karl Wittgenstein's palace, and which was later bought back for Derniche. The flamingo motif is placed on the corners of the front side of the fountain and on the upper front edge of the pedestal that was conceived as an independent sculpture. On both flanking sides, a high relief of a young man's head is placed, shaped almost completely three-dimensionally, and with its position it is adapted to the form of the column. The sculptor applies the same treatment to the whole arm whose upper part is parallel to the base and the forearm holds on to the neck. This is the reason that the figure never essentially endangers the form of the column. And yet, the bust has been carried out following all the laws of anatomy. It is in harmony with the architectural frame in the manner of the Greek gable, where none of the elements is either inferior nor superior. The position of the arm enabled Mestrovich to show his skill in modelling muscles that are in no place relaxed, and the cavities and protuberances create an interesting play of light and shadow. The head, on the other hand, is shaped in an entirely different way. The surfaces are tense, with a minimum of uneven spots. Even the hair is shaped like a helmet. Yet both the face and the body reflect tenseness and strength like the column to which they are fastened.